The Core Cycle, a business framework for continually making knowledge productive. The Core Cycle is the engine of the business management system. This presentation is about managing organizational knowledge and a solution to it. A model to understand how knowledge management underpins all business processes, the core cycle. How to convert improvement into knowledge. Before we get into the core of the cycle, I'd like to go through a few definitions. What is management? Mark Rother provides us with a definition. The systematic pursuit of desired conditions by utilizing human capabilities in a concerted way. Let's break this down. Systematic means process-driven, repetitive, progressive, and adaptable to conditions. A pursuit is relentless. Desired conditions refers to specific objectives defined in a time-bound manner. Human capabilities means that everyone in the organization has to be trained, competent, and empowered. Concerted way refers to the people in the organization collaborating in cross-functional teams, and all the activities are aligned with the business's strategic objectives. Peter Drucker provides us with another definition. The essence of management is to make knowledge productive. We will spend the rest of the presentation understanding this statement as the core cycle is built on it. What is knowledge? Or rather, what isn't knowledge? You do not install knowledge. You do not find knowledge in a dictionary, only information. Knowledge is the theoretical understanding with the practical experience, which is seen as the know why and the know how. A leader must have knowledge. A leader must be able to teach. We now accept the fact that learning is a lifelong process of keeping abreast of change, and the most pressing task is to teach people how to learn. How to make knowledge productive. You first establish a system, because if you can't describe what you're doing as a process, you don't know what you're doing. In fact, a bad system will beat a good person every time, and that's why management's job is to improve the system. To establish a system, we need the repetition of methods and processes. It takes discipline to get into these good habits, that is management routines. We can only sustain the system through discipline. What kind of routines are we talking about? For example, we're talking about continuous improvement routines, such as improvement projects, innovation, which is implementing simple improvement ideas, and problem-solving activities. Routines contribute to the improvement of existing standards, and improvement draws from the people's creativity. We want to both reinforce discipline and develop creativity in the workplace. We want the sustained profitability of the organization. We can only sustain if we improve continually. Improvement is only possible if a benchmark already exists, a base to improve from, known as a standard. We want to standardize, improve, and sustain with a disciplined and creative people. Employees work in silos because they don't know better. Provide them with an integrated view of the enterprise. We build the system on the core cycle. You create knowledge, apply knowledge, and then manage knowledge. The core cycle is an interpretation of the PDCA, the plan, do, check, and adjust cycle. The core cycle. Employees contribute to their mini business unit by either adding value to the customer, reducing risk, or supporting other MBUs to do the same. Adding value is measured by the operational factors of quality, speed, and cost, as well as risk. Best operating practices sustain the operation of processes, and management systems are deployed, such as quality, health and safety, environment, risk, continuous improvement, asset management, and more. Processes always present wasteful activities and decay over time. Best improvement practices reduce the risk and eliminate wasteful activities through problem solving, innovation, and continuous improvement projects. 
All processes are created, operated and improved by people. And the role of leadership is to empower the people through structure, direction, coaching, mastery and engagement. Creativity and discipline develops and grows over time. Let's take a look at how the core cycle works. Knowledge is applied by employees to add value to the customer and reduce risk, but they face wasteful activities and fluctuation. Knowledge is managed from the best operating practice to identify abnormalities, for example, key performance indicators, non-conformance and audits. This triggers improvement activities to reduce the waste and fluctuations through the best improvement practices. Knowledge is built. The new standards are used to train employees. Knowledge is transferred and applied. Waste and fluctuation are never totally eliminated. There is no end to improvement. MP solutions contribute to making knowledge productive. So let's take a look at an example. How does continuous improvement link with knowledge management? Knowledge is created through the routines of continuous improvement. The standards thus created are captured on the wiki of team page in a document management routine. Other solutions, such as auditing and risk assessment, also contribute to management of knowledge. So what is the core cycle? It's a framework to make knowledge productive. But productive to whom? It's productive to all members of the organization to the benefit of the customer. The essence of management is to make knowledge productive.